In this question, to thin two identical thin rods, each with mass m and length l, are joined at right angle to form an L-shaped object. This object is balanced on the top of a sharp edge. If the L-shaped object is deflected slightly, it oscillates. Find the frequency of oscillations. In the equilibrium situation, when it is kept symmetrically, then these two angles are equal and these two angles are equal to 45 degree so this angle is 45 and this angle is also 45 <coughs> now let us uh, deflect this rod slightly when i deflect this rod slightly let's say i am deflecting it in the clockwise sense so suppose i deflected in the clockwise sense by a small angle <coughs> Suppose uh, the new location here is something like this after deflection and deflection I deflected it by some angle theta here it also it is deflected by the same amount angle theta after deflection its weight mg is passing like this its weight mg is passing like this let us torque of these two mg about this point in this distance will be l by 2 and the component of mg here component of mg will be mg multiplied by so this total angle will become theta plus 45 it is sine theta plus 45 and this component will be mg multiplied by angle is now 45 minus theta earlier this angle was 45 it is mg sine 45 minus theta so taking torque now we can see that this angle is slightly higher 45 plus theta and this angle is slightly lower 45 minus theta so torque of uh, this mg will be higher and will be higher as compared to torque of this mg and this mg will apply an anti-clockwise torque so the difference of these two torque will be in the anti-clockwise sense and it will provide a restoring torque so it is clear that these two mg's are providing the restoring torque so restoring torque in displaced position when it is slightly displaced by angle theta then I am calculating the restoring torque so this is equal to mg sine 45 minus theta multiplied by L by 2 minus I am taking this as a positive this is clockwise and that to be negative mg sine 45 plus theta into L by 2 mg L by 2 will be common and sine 45 minus theta and sine 45 plus theta let us uh, open using the formula of sine a plus b so it will be sine 45 cos theta minus cos 45 sine theta and it will be minus sine 45 cos theta plus cos 45 sine theta so this is sine 45 and cos 45 will be equal and the common will come out as 1 by root 2 so it is mgl by 2 root 2 now here cos theta minus sine theta minus cos theta will come and cos theta and cos theta will be cancelled here minus cos theta and minus cos theta will be minus 2 sine theta 
this 2 get cancelled and it is minus mgl root 2 and since theta is very small so sin theta is equal to theta this minus represents that we have displaced in the clockwise sense and writing the torque in the clockwise sense we are getting the negative torque so that the torque will be in the opposite sense of this angular rotation so torque is anti-clockwise such that it is providing the restoring torque for finding the <coughs> for finding this uh, time period so we can compare this as torque is equal to some minus k theta where k is the constant of that angular SM and frequency the formula of frequency can be written as 1 upon 2 pi under root k by m sorry k for angular SM this m will be moment of inertia so 1 upon 2 pi this k will be mgl by root 2 so this is the value of k mgl by root 2 and moment of inertia one rod and another rod one rod about this axis will be ml square by 3 so there are two rods it will be 2 ml square by 3 so final answer to this problem is 1 upon 2 pi this m and this m will go when l will go that is 3g divided by 2 root 2l so this is the final answer to this problem if we can also do this question <coughs> by using the standard formula of physical pendulum this system will behave like a physical pendulum as this point is almost a fixed type of point we can say that this rod system is hinged at this particular point and if it is hinged at this particular point this will behave like a physical pendulum in physical pendulum we have the formula frequency is 1 upon 2 pi under root mg lcm and lcm is the distance of point of suspension distance of point of suspension from the center of mass of the system divided by moment of inertia about the point of suspension so center of mass for this system will be somewhere here it is l by 2 it is l by 2 and angles are 45 degree so this is also so these two are equal and this is l by 2 root 2 and it is also l by 2 root 2 so this is center of mass and distance distance between these two points will be l by 2 root 2 so lcm we can put as l by 2 root 2 distance between these two points and for i we can put the same value as before it is 2 ml square by 3 putting these two values in this expression friction this frequency will be 1 upon 2 pi for m we have to put 2 m since total mass is 2 m it is l by 2 root 2 and it is 2 ml square by 3 again you can see that we are getting the same answer from this method also 